anymore. The whole church was lighted with candles. And the first wedding I've ever been to. And golly, you should have seen the bride. She had the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. It was all white oh, satin. Me. Come on, we'll be late for school. Coming, Peggy. I better go now. Goodbye. My goodness, Molly is certainly growing up. Hi, Miss Jensen. Good morning, girls. How's your throat this morning, Molly? Oh, just fine. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Well, you'd better stop by my office and let me take a look at it. It won't take a minute. Okay. Okay, Molly, let's take a look. Oh, yes. Oh, that's clearing up just fine. Going to the game tonight? Oh, sure. Will you please let someone else do the cheering for you? Because that throat is still slightly inflamed. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, by the way, Molly, your mother left her gloves over at my house last night. Will you take them to her? Sure, she's always leaving them someplace. See you later. Okay. I've known Molly and her family ever since she first came to school. And I think you might like to know her, too. Molly lives at home with her father, her mother, and her older sister, Jeannie. Jeannie and Molly each have their own rooms. But lately, it seems that Molly is more interested in Jeannie's room than her own. Molly and Jeannie get along, well, about as most sisters do. Molly! What do you think you're doing? Nothing, Jeannie. I just happened to come in and... Hmm? Honestly, Molly, how many times have I asked you to leave my things alone? Well, all I was doing was Jim, you didn't get all the lipstick off either. Oh, I wasn't going to hurt your old thing. I just wanted to try them. Well, why don't you ask Mom for some things of your own? You're old enough now. Jeannie. When do you think I'll start having periods, too? Oh, I don't know. Pretty soon, I suppose. I was 13 when I started. Well, Peggy's already started hers, and I'm six months older than she is. Well, so what? Some start earlier, and some later. We're all different. And from the way you've been acting lately, it shouldn't be long now. One day, not long after that, Molly came home from school. Is that you, Molly? Yes, Mom. Hi. What kind of a day did you have today? Mom, guess what? I don't know. What? Mom, I started my first period. Well, what do you know? Come on, sit down. Tell me about it. When did it start? Well, it was this afternoon when I was changing into my gym clothes and I noticed a bit of blood on my panties and golly, at first I thought, well, I didn't know what to think. And then I remembered when we talked about menstru... Menstruation. Menstruation and stuff. And, well, then I went to see Miss Jensen. Oh, my goodness. How do you feel? Mm, kind of funny-like. I mean... Well, I was hoping it would start soon. But it seems like I've forgotten everything you've told me. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Tonight will be mother and daughter conference night. And if you'll give me a hand with supper, we'll get started that much earlier. Okay, I'll wash up and be right down. Golly. And it won't be long at all before you're quite used to it. You see, honey, menstruation is perfectly normal. It happens every month. Sit up here. 
But why each month, Mom? Oh, it's just part of being a woman, I guess. Of course, right at first, you probably won't be very regular. Most girls don't settle down for a year or so. Even then, some girls go more than a month between periods and others less. That's normal, too. And eventually, your body will set up its own regular time. Please sit up, Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm comfortable. Well, if you sit and stand straight, that'll give the organs inside your body room to function better. And that'll make you feel better. I'll get it. That's probably Peggy. Hello? Oh, hi, Peggy. Sure, just a minute, I'll ask. Mom, can I go swimming with Peggy tomorrow after school? I don't think I would, Molly. But I'd be home by 5.30. No, it's not a good idea the first two or three days of your period. You might get chilled and catch cold. Oh, that's right. Peggy, of course I can't go swimming. You know I've got the curse. That's right. It isn't a good idea the first couple of days. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good heavens, Molly, you're growing like a weed. I'm going to have to let that hem down again. Come on, I'll do it right now. Okay. You know, I've often wondered why it is that some women still call menstruation the curse. I don't know. Peggy calls it that. And it is kind of a nuisance, isn't it? I suppose it is sometimes. Just that it sounded sort of old-fashioned to hear you say it. What are you two up to? Oh, how were the fights, Jim? No, not bad. Something wrong with our aerial, though. We ought to be getting a better picture than that. What was all the talk about in here? Is this a private conference? No, I don't think so. Do you, Molly? No, I guess not. You tell him, Mom. Well, Jim, Molly's growing up. She's having her first menstrual period. What? Already? Oh, but Alice, I thought... Well, I mean, after all, she's oh, only... Oh, Daddy, don't be so silly. I'm not a baby anymore. I know, dear, but... Uh... Well... No. No, honey, I guess you aren't. Growing up is fun. But some of the things Molly used to do seem a little silly now. Sometimes she gets all mixed up just thinking about it. She's changing from a child into an adult. And it's a little confusing at times. Molly had lots of questions about what was happening to her. It so happened I had a chance to answer some of them. Her teacher was sick one day and asked me to take her class. And this is true of women everywhere. So you see, menstruation is just the natural, normal process leading up to being a mother. This is a diagram of the uterus, or womb. And these are the fallopian tubes leading to it. And these, the ovaries, which produce the egg cells. Now, these egg cells are far too small for us to see. But once each month, an egg cell will leave one of the ovaries, go into the opening of the tube nearest to it. And then it's on its way to the uterus. Now, at the same time, the uterus has been preparing a growing place for this egg, a soft lining of blood vessels and tissues. If the egg unites with a male cell or sperm as it's on its way down the tube, it is fertilized. And then when it reaches the uterus, it settles down in this soft lining and begins to grow into a baby. But if the egg cell is not fertilized, it disappears. And then, since the lining is no longer needed, it too dissolves away. And it flows out of the body through an opening in the hymen, which is a membrane over the opening of the vagina. And so we say that we are menstruating. Yes, Barbara? Miss Jensen, when does menstruation start? Well, some girls start when they're 10 years old and some when they're 16 or 17 or anywhere in between. But the average age seems to be about 13. No, I mean what day of the week will it start? My mother starts on Tuesday. Will mine too? Oh, it might, but it probably won't. 
because each girl's body sets up her own time and rhythm. And the time between periods may vary anywhere from 23 to 32 days. And the flow lasts from two to seven days, also depending on the girl's own rhythm. Miss Jansen, how often should you change napkins when you're menstruating? Well, that depends on the amount of flow, but probably five or six times a day. And that brings up another point. Many of you girls haven't started to menstruate yet, but when you do, you will want to use a sanitary napkin to absorb the flow. It's a soft, absorbent pad, and it's made to fit over the opening of the vagina and to follow the curve of the body. The tab ends are attached to a narrow elastic belt, which you can wear around your hips or waist. Now, some girls prefer to use tampons. A tampon is a cylinder of absorbent cotton inside a cardboard applicator. It is inserted into the vagina by means of the applicator. The cotton absorbs the flow, and when it is full, you remove it and discard it. Yes, Molly? Miss Jensen, is it true that people can tell when you're menstruating? No, it isn't. But you should be more careful than ever about personal cleanliness and daintiness. Change your underwear more often, and be sure and use a deodorant. And pay more attention to your hair and your nails, and plan to wear your prettiest dress. In other words, be your most attractive self. And remember, menstruation is only a part of growing up. As you grow, your body changes from that of a young girl to that of a woman. It's becoming round with the beginnings of a bosom and the start of a real waistline and hips. And hair is beginning to grow in different places, pubic hair and underarm hair. Yes, Anne? Miss Jensen, what about dancing? Can you when you're menstruating? Yes, you can, with moderation. In fact, you can do most of the things you usually do. You can bathe or shower as long as you use warm water. And you can wash your hair if you're sure to dry it quickly. And you can swim if you wait until after two or three days after the beginning of your period. And you can go to dances and picnics. But it's not a very good idea to skate or ride horseback or play fast games like volleyball and basketball or do strenuous dancing like square dancing or anything that bounces you around a lot. In general, mild exercises are best. Ones that strengthen the abdominal muscles are particularly good. It's sensible to avoid strenuous exercise when you're menstruating. And you'll be sure and tell your mother or me if everything doesn't seem to be just right. Now, I'd like each of you to take one of these booklets about menstruation. And when you finish reading it, if you have any questions, be sure and come and see me. And remember, menstruation is as normal and natural as eating or breathing or sleeping. Soon, Molly will be a young woman like her genie, having dates, going to dances in lovely romantic dresses, and making new and important friends. There are so many wonderful things to look forward to. Growing up, it's an exciting time. <laughs>